This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hello YouTube! It's a overdressed deck profile day with your resident... I didn't think this through. Hi, it's Gabe, and I built Barrow Magnes because this deck's really fun, and I made the decision to max rarity the ride deck because I have no impulse control and i saw shiny things like a crow hopping along the ground for some trash so that's where i'm at in my life as a 23 year old man but i built this deck and it's very very fun and it's quite good in fact it's one of the best two or three decks in the format best one probably if bastion didn't exist so that's great um, and yeah, I have, the ride deck is a weird thing, no idea how we're going to use that in deck profile, so I'll just start with the ride deck, and then go from there. So, uh, Barrow Magnus is the boss monster, so that's why he's there, and he's this really cool card where he just does a bunch of things where you jack up the soul for really, frankly, stupid effects, if you have 5 or more on attack, you counter blast 1 to draw a card, but if you have 10 or more, it gets 10k and a crit, and if you have 15 or more, uh, both you and your opponent shove all of your rear guards to soul, and you get to call 2 with 10k, and that's on attack, so you get to make 5 attacks, and get a board wipe, and give them power. It's really good. And... Based off of the ride deck's abilities, you are guaranteed to have at least six soul by the time you hit Barrow Magnes. So, getting to ten is just child's play, and fifteen is honestly pretty easy. So, this deck is a lot more consistent than it has any right to be. Next, grade two is a Electro Spartan. When you ride Barrow Magnes over him, you put a card from hand to soul, draw a card, and soul charge. So, you're... Resources and advantages a break even, but you did get to soul charge two and on place on rear counter blast one to charge two. So, uh, one of these gets you to eight soul, two gets you to that ten soul for Barrow Magnus is ten and a crit. Then deep soniker when on ride soul charge and on rear guard if you have ten or more in soul it gets ten k. And you can just call this from Barrow Magnus' 15 in soul. It's guaranteed to be in soul if it's your grade 1 ride deck card. And Uncanny Burning as the starter. Every starter does the same thing. No point talking about it. On to the main deck. Grade 3 is running 3 Barrow Magnus because Persona Ride is good. Persona Ride is really good in this deck because since it's a continuous effect, the cards you call with... Magnus's 15 or more effect get the additional 10k so it's like you get five attacks with 10k so that's great and also riding effectively increases your soul count by one I've had multiple times where I've had 14 in soul and the persona ride is what got me to 15 so absolutely recommend maxing it out and then next we're running four copies of honestly fantastic card phantasma magician curtis which is on call if your Vanguard is Magnus charge two, and if your soul has ten or more counterblast two, your front row gets five k. It is not counterblast heavy with the card we're gonna see later, and I've had multiple games where I've used this thing to uh, effect twice in the same turn because I knew I was gonna countercharge my way to freedom. So absolutely worth. It. But even if he didn't have that effect and it was just the soul charge two, it would be run. Next is Crawl You Insects, Counterblast 1, Soul Charge 1, uh, choose a unit so it can be Van, and it gets 10k for every 5 in Soul, and if you have the 15 you draw a card, so if you have Barrel Magnes ready, you can give a card 30k and basically draw one, which makes Magnes 53 with 2 crit, which is pretty good. Persona Ride, even an Over Trigger can't guard it. But there will be no over-trigger discourse in this video. Next, grade 2s, we're running 3 copies of Electro Spartan. If it says the word Soul Charge 2, you run a playset. That's as simple as Barrow Magnus is. And lastly, the card that um, is 
Frankly, the best in the deck is Selfish Engraver. On hit, Soul Charge. After it attacks, if you have 10 or more in Soul, move it to Soul and Counter Charge. Yeah, um, this is insane. If you have two or more in Soul and you call it off of Ma uh, Magnes, you get to Counter Charge a bunch. And you never worry about Counter Blast because of this thing. She is such a good card. On to grade ones, we have four copies of Steam Battler Gungan Rum, which is on call soul charge, blast three to draw one. Honestly, I've used the soul blast three to draw card maybe once. I've honestly rarely ever called this thing because I can usually hit 15 soul no problem. It is just there if you need 15 soul. This really, probably the most underwhelming card in the deck. Next is four copies of the PG, Recusal Hate Dragon. With the exception of Deep Sonicer, everything in this deck either is a Guardian or gets you to 15 soul. So, this is a Guardian. PG's good. Next, four copies of the Other Order, Brothers of Soul, uh, Charge 2. Again, it lets you Soul Charge 2 in Magnes. Use two of those, you're at 10 soul by the time you hit grade 3. Next, we're running one copy of Deep Sonicer. As I said, if it doesn't soul charge or help you guard, this deck probably doesn't run it. I only run the one extra because I had the room for it, but also calling it off of the Persona ride is funny. And all you really need is two because you can just call them from soul and... If you have them on rear guard, you could put them in the soul with Magnes' cost and then bring them back out again and just attack with them like three or four times. So you genuinely do not need more than two of this thing as good as the 10k is. And lastly, rounding out the grade ones is Tartarus Beat Scram. If you have five or more in soul, you can give a card 15k. So... Again, if you use the ride deck, you are going to have at least 6 soul when you hit grade 3, so this is always going to be a 15k shield thing. Uh, next, on to the uh, triggers, the most boring part of it. This is going to be a 3 draw 7 crit deck. You don't want to run a lot of draws because decking out is a thing. And I honestly don't even know if I would run 8 crit fr or front just because, like, you kind of need to see the cards that help you soul charge. So running the 3 draws and an over trigger is honestly all I would really need. Next is, of course, 4 crit and another 4 crit, but this one's foil. And, again, triggers in D-Series are broken. Please give me, like, triggers with skills again. I am so bored of a third of my deck being Vanilla's Bushi. And then the obvious four heals and one over-trigger. It's heal triggers and an over-trigger. I really do not think I need to explain why. My hottest take, though, because might as well end a game-related Nexus video with some controversial stances, uh, Gal Miguel does the worst over-trigger. And, uh, no explanation why. Okay, thanks. Bye, YouTube. But, no, seriously, uh, thank you for watching. I am genuinely excited for, uh, Overdress. Uh, V-Series was a mess, and I'm over it. So, Overdress is here to save us. Thank you, and good night, and good luck.